I am amazed how long it took me to watch this movie. And I'm actually kind of even surprised of how I thought of it, too. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Little Miss Sunshine. Another little random review, but there is a reason to this one and you'll be seeing it throughout the year. This review stems from just this want to watch movies while I'm editing my fo photo editing. The movies I saw at the video store, but I just never actually picked up and watched. I can remember the posters and the VHS or the DVD boxes clearly but I just never got around to watching them. One of them is Little Miss Sunshine. And first up, I can definitely see how this won Best Original Screenplay. The character writing is quite witty. I like how every character has a flaw or a trait that makes you dislike them, but by the end of the movie, you actually are kind of enthralled with these characters. Greg Kinnear being this absolutely sleazy person that has this stupid 12-step program are Paul Dano, who has taken a vow of silence because he wants to join the military, or Alan Arkin, who is this incredibly horny, very, like, flagrant, uh, uh, grandpa to Abigail Breslin, teaching, teaching her how to get ready for the show, uh, the Little Miss Sunshine show and they never show you exactly what he's been teaching here until the very end. Uh, Steve Carell actually putting in a really solid, somber performance as the uncle with suicidal tendencies and his interactions, especially running into his old lover at the gas station. I liked how the movie was structured and there are all these little, oh no, kind of moments. It's a really fun little road trip family movie from the van not being able to get up to speed unless it's being pushed down a hill all the way up until when they get into the pageant and the lady who's running it is that stereotypical old crony lady white lady who it, you've seen her play that role m many a times and the guy who's doing the registration is like i hate these people fudge get into this show like sure play this music i like how it also doesn't really come to an end too like it's just this journey and we are still curious about what will happen to these characters at the end and there are some moments that are both very funny and very heartbreaking at the same time. Obviously, one of the ones that comes to mind is when Paul Dano realizes that everything that he's done, all of the pain that he's endured with his family, the vow of silence, everything has amounted to nothing because he's not going to be able to get into flight school because he's colorblind. To a lot of the conversations with Steve Carell and different members of the family, especially talking with Abigail Breslin about what he did to himself. There's one thing though that I can say that I am a little bit upset about and it's that Alan Arkin won Best Supporting Actor. Nothing against Alan Arkin, I, I love the guy. He was a fantastic actor, loved him and everything he was in. However, when you look at who he was up against. He had Eddie Murphy for Dreamgirls, Jackie Earl Haley for Little Children. Surprisingly, I'm gonna say this, but Mark Wahlberg for The Departed, and then Jamon Hussein, apologies if I know I've probably said his name wrong, uh, for Blood Diamond, the guy who I wanted to win that year, the man who basically acted his fucking heart out, lost to Alan Arkin being a horny old man who's in the movie for a grand total of maybe 15 minute screenplay time and then dies? I don't know, I, I thought that it was a tad underwhelming. I thought it was a bit, really? Really? So, but that's just me. I think that that award should have gone to anyone else in that category, not again to bash Alan. I just don't think that's an Oscar worthy performance considering who he was up against that year. Otherwise, Little Miss Sunshine still does a good job of holding the test of time. This movie's over 15 years old now, and it still is funny. It still has good jokes. It still has good relevancy. The acting and the story is really compelling, funny, and heartbreaking at times. There's a reason why it got the acclaim it did, and I feel that it is warranted of such acclaim, if maybe one person getting an award that maybe probably shouldn't have. In the end, I'm gonna give Little Miss Sunshine a 6 out of 7. I really enjoyed this movie. If you've never seen it, I would really highly recommend it. It's a funny little romp. I think everyone does a phenomenal job. But those are my thoughts about this movie. Very excited to see what you guys have to say. Let me know in the comments below. And if you guys like this review, please leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. As I said, you're going to be seeing a few of these throughout the year. You're definitely going to be seeing a lot of them in September when I go away for a little while. I'm just building up that catalog. But 
regardless. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you're having a good day. I'll see you guys next time.